Happy Sunday, you guys. So I made pancakes, bacon, eggs for the girls today. We're starting off our week party. What's up, you guys? Today is Monday. Today is busy. Um, you know, have a call is going to come in real busy for me. But I just wanted to share some of the um, coloring that I did in the um, really exhale coloring book. I'm about to start a new page now. But yes, yeah, this is pretty relaxing. Today, I just wanted to feel like grounding myself, making sure that I'm keeping myself on steady ground, you guys. I'm trying my best to keep peaceful thoughts, positive thoughts, not thinking about anything negative, um, not worrying myself about things I cannot control, and just doing what I know I have to do. So um, I'm going to see you guys when I get in the car. I'm going to have to go pick up my daughter in a moment, and we'll chat it up while I'm driving. What's up, y'all? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Today is Monday, as I told you guys earlier. Um, busy days, y'all know Mondays are always busy. Calls are coming in back to back to back, like boom, 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 all day. Um, so I'm currently rushing to go pick up Serenity from school so I can get back to that clock, you know, make that money. Make that money, honey. But um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I hope you guys are having positive thoughts, keeping positive energy in your thought process, in your world, all around you, wherever. Even if you feel a certain type of way, I'm hoping that you're keeping positive thoughts even though you're feeling those ways. Um, today I was um, trying to catch up on some stuff, but like I said, calls been coming in back to back. I noticed that... Um, A lot of people have been watching the um, Love and Marriage, Love and Marriage Hip Hop, not Love and Marriage Hip Hop, Love and Marriage Huntsville, and um, they're talking about the way Martell has been acting. That is the um, Melanie and Martell. I don't know if you guys ever seen. I did a review on her lipstick on my channel, but. They're talking about how he's acting and about a lot of the time how, how people have seen um, domestic violence, DV, I don't know if I can say that on here, DV situations where the person act is acting in the way that Martell is acting and eventually in, ending up unaliving the uh, individual that decided to walk away. I have been noticing that that has been happening a lot in this time and age a lot of women are not staying like our grandmothers did you know like if you cheat they're out if you do anything they're leaving and they're leaving and they're doing a hundred percent better in in life than the men are as far as financially as far as just mentally as far as spiritually they're doing better and the men are not able to take it and they're unaliving these women and I'm glad that people are talking about this topic because a lot of people can't never like to admit that a, a man cannot really take a woman doing to them what they do to her. Um, and they're giving her a hard flag like because a lot of us are conditioned to always cater to to a, a person that has mistreated us, you know, just so to keep the peace um, if they're being disrespectful i'm gonna still allow them to come to functions and do things as i said in my previous video when i was talking about um you know my yanny plans and all of that what i went through with my first you know giving birth you know that was something that i knew i was never going to deal with again and that's that was setting a boundary i was not going to let anyone you know put me in a my health my child health and anyone cause you know that can cause that to be still able to endure something so beautiful with me again but a lot of other women are not taking that no more we like you know and I'm and I'm and I'm proud of us of that but it's very triggering and it's very scary when you have a have a person that gets so upset because they feel like they're entitled to you always being 
that person that you see always being that the easy she's not gonna stay mad she's not gonna keep her energy that way she's she's not gonna she's gonna do what i say and then when you don't do what she say then they get it and she said you don't have her and and, and, and like this is how the this is how it happens legally you went through the legal documentations of you know visitations when you have the children this is when you have the children when i have the children this is when i have the children this is how it works you know and even after that she was saying you can get her after the party this is a private event i don't want you here everybody was mad at her she should have she should have just not done that she should it's about the child no it was you guys gotta understand it was not just about the child when Martel did what he did. Martel does what he he wanted to make it. He wanted to come to that party because he felt that he was entitled to be there. And then she and when Melanie set it back, set her boundaries and told him no. And even after that, and it's not his time to even get his his daughter. She said, "I will bring her over to be with you." You know, but this is our private event. And I don't want you here. She wanted to feel comfortable in her own event in her own state you know her own time doing what she felt need to do for herself and everybody was just so upset with her a lot of people was like she should just let him came in and you know because he was having a temper tantrum everybody you know no of course being extra loud and being extra trying to make the scene about him um that's what made y'all feel she should just let him stay but behind the scenes, we don't know what. I mean, what not, you don't have to even think about behind the scenes. You can see how he probably does behind the scenes. He probably talks to her any kind of way behind the scenes. He probably does a lot of things. And abuse is not always physical, you guys. It can be mentally. It can be gaslighting. It can be things that people do that they know they don't supposed to do. And that may be exactly what he's doing. And then he comes and think that was a guy on the first scene um she's having a party i think melanie doesn't want everybody to know that we get along like he's delusional <laughs> i don't think that she doesn't want everybody to think that y'all don't get along she just she's keeping the boundaries where it's supposed to be we go we went to court to have this stuff set into place for a reason and my reason for saying this is a lot of times us women we, we we take in so much that we we expect every other woman to do the same just because she didn't want to do that don't mean that you, just because she doesn't live her life the way you want her to live her life and accept whatever you accept from your your child's father if you it need whether he it be him being abusive him being um not even being financially stable enough to help you do things for your children for the birthday party but y'all still let him come to it or all the above whatever whatever y'all whatever you as a woman any woman that, that whatever your choices are don't make another woman feel like something wrong with her for what her choice is okay so that's that's just my take on that um a lot of people can say you sure you know it's your opinion you know it's like buttholes y'all have one um but it's fun. he has shown me on numerous occasions by watching this show. I don't know him. I didn't marry. I didn't marry him, and I don't know him as a person. But he he shows that he is very controlling, and he thought that he can continue to keep taking that woman through. He never thought that that woman would walk away, and she did. And he never thought that she'll be telling him no and setting boundaries and telling him certain things he can't do. But she do. See, he's been doing a lot of things already and getting away with it, and she's not letting him do that no more. Um. Okay. Then now. I want to talk about I don't know if you guys watch the mommy sector um, strong mommy Chrissy I started watching strong Mommy. I think I told you guys already on here if you watch my channel if you don't if you, if you catch up on her I watched her while I was pregnant with my previous daughter so I've just started watching her don't really know her background from when she first came out but I started catching up on it I know a lot of I know some of the times some of the things I watch me personally i liked her channel because i was like all oh, those children she's doing the thing i really don't know the insight i don't know her personally i don't know her and don't know who she is and what she has going on personally in her life until i started watching her channel more now her going and doing the self-love things that she's doing the self trips the mommy vacations by herself she's getting a lot of hecked about a lot of knockout about it i want everybody to understand i don't think it's nothing wrong with her wanting to take a 48 hour break a month just for herself and 
you know, enjoy self-care, whether it's a trip, and date herself. Nothing is wrong with that. I want other moms to know that, too. I'm a married woman, and I have four kids and all. One of them, one of them is 18 now, and I have a 13-year-old. I have a five-year-old, and I have a two-year-old. Your, and I'm a working mom. And I do this content creating. Your brain is always functioning on everybody else. So taking the 40 out, 48 hours out of the month is not a problem for her. I don't see where, it, where it's wrong when it comes to doing that as me being a mom. As long as she has the sitters pay for food in the house for them while they're gone, while she's gone and make sure that if they're in a safe environment while she's there for those 48 hours to for herself that's fine now i do understand where people are coming from from watching her channel now i want you guys to understand this i understand where a lot of people are coming from with her having nine children and the last trip she took them on she asked for donations but she's taking herself on these starships trips and you know in nice hotels and she's going to, to different states taking planes and everything but her children had to have a struggle road trip so i do understand that and i understand that part of it and i even wrote that in her comment um i'm big on self-love i'm big on self-care please enjoy yourself please enjoy your vacation for yourself but i would love to see you do the same with you and the kids and that's just just that's that on that but also you guys have to understand that this is not your life. The, her, she would have to reap the repercussions of her children seeing this and feeling this way. If she doesn't do anything with them this, this summer, I, you guys don't know. We don't. We have not seen what she will do. If she does or she does not do anything with these kids this summer, that's between her and her conscious in her children feelings on her but i do understand and understand exactly what she's doing just because she's a mom and, and you guys feel like you know she the one decided to lay there and had those babies that's what everybody keeps saying well you know nobody's pointing the fingers at the fathers that laid there and made the babies with her too they're able to run off and live life like they want to and that's okay to say they're deadbeats and all that stuff but you, but they're still able to get husbands. They're still able to get wives. They're even, they're even still able to go on with life and have other children. But when women do it, we give, we give, and that's, it's our own other women that tear each other down. I'm not saying that Christy is uh, an innocent person in the whole aspect of it. I don't think that she is a perfect example of what I'm saying. I'm just saying a lot of the time, people, especially us women, we tear each other apart. She went through a traumatic thing where she just recently lost one of her children's father. He killed, he unalived himself. And maybe it's like a, it's like I don't want to live my life just being a mom and not even being able to enjoy my my life the little time that I can. Cause you know things like that. You never know what someone is mentally going through. So like I said, her doing this 48 hour a month thing. I don't know who's paying for it. We don't know who's paying for it. Who, that's not your business. But I do know that it is okay for a mom to get 40, 48 hours away just to get a, a vacation once a month. I, but I get, I understand you guys saying, but she does nothing with her children. Because I have seen this. I watch her channel. But we don't know what she has in plan. She may be about to have a full process of a bunch of trips with her children we don't know birthday parties i don't know i can't tell y'all but i just know i'm just giving my insight for what i'm watching and i see so many women bashing her about it as if they're not women as if you didn't go on a vacation or or anything uh party uh go out of town with your, your home girls every other week uh, a weekend or something before in your life being a parent i don't know why you think that's not possible i know why y'all saying it's not possible because she has nine kids that's what that's understandable because i have four <laughs> so i get what you're saying but i don't know <laughs> what how she's able to do all this because like i said the last time she took the kids on a trip it was like i need can you guys donate to us so that that was kind of like a in my head but from the out if you didn't watch her channel prior to this that is something that we do need that's my whole point for my whole ramble i don't want women to feel like i don't need to go out of town for a whole weekend because i'm a mom 
No, you can still have fun being a mom. You can still have fun being a wife as well. Like if you want to go out of town on a girl's trip, go to a, go to a um a resort on a girl's trip and you're married, you can do that. You do not have to feel like your life stopped just as mommy and as wife and as worker. You can still live a life even when your kids are little, as long as you have everything in order as far as their, their babysitters, their sitters, their food, whatever they're gonna need while you're gone, and make sure you have emergency cash in case you need to get back to them in time or any, just have everything in order. I don't know what strong mommy Christy had in order on these vacations, but I'm just letting you guys know that you that it's okay for moms to go out and do things. Because the way I'm taking this, a lot of y'all are saying she don't need to be going away. She got nine kids. And I'm like, like she can pay a sitter. You know, she can pay things. She can get things in order. But I do feel like she do need to take those children on a lavish trip, trip like she's been taking herself. Um, not necessarily like museums and, and things of that nature, but she do need to take them on a take them somewhere nice, like a nice um water park or something or somewhere nice like she's doing herself because that that is noticeable and that is not right from what i seen from the last time that she wasn't even able to even take them on the road trip so i get everybody in sight on that but stop giving mommy so much hard time y'all we we moms and us women we got to come together i'm not saying uplift bull crap but at the same time come on now don't knock each other down about everything pay attention to men get away with a lot they get away with a lot she always, she can't just men can men can leave the children go out of town they can do everything and and no one says anything <laughs> but what a woman do is she's a dad b i got that one never <laughs> peace y'all okay you guys this is the second picture i finished for today so I'm clocking out of work. I have to go do my mommy thing. Hey guys, hello. Hey. Today is, I'm gonna let the windows down now because y'all, it's hot outside now. I guess it is gonna stay summer. I'm gonna let the air down, let the air circle, let the windows down so the air can circulate through here, you know? But um, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Um. I am doing what I do, the norm, the norm. Um, but I just wanted to come in and say what's up. I wanted to talk to you guys about doing a video about ways to use spiritual oils, attention oils, attraction, law of attraction oils, things like that. Because I, I have a lot of people that really don't understand what the oils are. So I will have a video coming up soon, letting you guys giving you guys a, giving you guys a breakdown. Um, you know, attention oils, what you can do, how you can use them, um, different ways and different kinds. Um, just giving you an insight on that. Um, like you can, I have my wealth oil that is one of my favorite oils that I use. Um, it's for manifestation of money. Like if I'm having a moment where I'm like, I need money fast. Um, and I also just use it for protecting of my prosperity, of my abundance of prosperity. Like in all shape or forms, I want to continue to keep money coming to me without having to worry of money. So that's one of the reasons why I use my wealth oil. I use it in candles. I use it on my skin, um, on my body. Because of course your body is the most powerful thing of it all. Um, and yeah, I also have my Love Me Oil, like I told you guys, I have. I break it down, you go on my website, you can see all of that. But I wanna just tell you guys what it means. I wanna have another intimate, cause I feel like that intimate conversation that we had about me doing the Yanni scenes, and me telling you guys, I mean the Yanni cleanse and the Parafree cleanse, that was really refreshing for me. So I wanna do another video with a one-on-one, -on -one with us actually in an intimate setting without me having to be driving or, you know, moving around vlogging. And this is my, um, my one of my body butters on my shirt, got on my shirt. But um, without me having to be just moving around and, you know, doing all of that while we're talking, 
I can sit down and have an intimate moment with you guys again. I like that. Um, but yeah, so that's what the next video should be about. I'm going to do a video giving you guys the different type of oils. And not just my own oils. Just different type of oils that you can also make on your own. I'm going to give you guys some insight on my different books that I have used to learn more about the herbs that I use. Um, the crystals. All of that. I'm going to do videos on crystals. I'm going to do videos do a video on how to set up an altar um i don't know i just had a lot of creative creativity thoughts come to my mind lately because i have been using a lot of um, manifestation of wanting to be more creative because of course vlogging about my day-to-day -day, being a mom and talking to you guys is always good but to to gravitate and make sure i get more people that likes to talk to me about you know listen come to my channel and listen to what i talk about as far as my um what i do you know what i actually do as far as being a, um, a spiritual person and a conjurer um a person that you um, work with the spirit world to manifest things in and out so i want to do videos one-on-one -on -one with that and <laughs> let you guys see the inside and feel you know just let you in a little bit more be more transparent when it comes to that end of it um but yeah yeah i'm headed to go get serenity from school and then i didn't i know today is taco tuesday but i did not take out anything to make um anything like a mexican dish and to be honest with you guys i don't really not really in the mood for cooking i i have to be in the mood so i am going to cook because i have to feed my children but to, i'm just going to do like some fried chicken um tenders fried french fries and um let them choose trendy made cake pops last night um and i just want to let them eat on that as a dessert or whatever and i'm going to chill to restock on some body butters now that I think about it because I um, had sold my last few batches so I need to restock on those tonight but I really 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 don't know if I want to do that because I don't like even though my body butters are not in, not as not used for spiritual acts that's just people to use on their skin to help you with your skin um eczema if you have just day-to-day -day lotion you know if you want to use it as a day-to-day moisturizing your skin and um a lot of people like it men women so i have a male smell and a woman smell and i like it myself i use that on my skin myself and my my i don't i don't put a lot of Micro powder and others, but I, in my eyes, I like the shimmer look. That's why you can kind of see some on my, my white t shirt because when I'm rubbing on my skin really fast to come out the house, I got some on me. <laughs> but um, a lot of people don't really like it, so I don't put a lot of it in everybody's um, that I sell it to. And then, like, I'm, I'm getting more crafty with the, with the body butters, so I may do some with more shimmer because some people do like the shimmer. So I'll let you guys see on the site. And of course, I'll probably do videos about that. Let you guys see me making stuff. Um, but yeah. D'Angelo, I got good news. I had I posted in my community tab um, already. D'Angelo Diploma came in the mail. I was like, yes. Like, that, like you can, your children can graduate they can say completion the teachers can tell them they got the grades all together and everything but you have to see that diploma so you can put it up on the wall put it up on your fireplace whatever you want to place it at um just you know that's just a it's an it's a it's an accomplishment for them but it's also an accomplishment for you because you feel like you did what you needed to do to get them there i'll be back for you guys all right you guys i'm back but yeah, so you know, like when they get their diplomas, like it's it's an accomplishment for them more than anything I know. But I'm just like for us guardians, us parents, when our kids get diplomas, degrees, whatever, to me, it's it's a, an accomplishment for us too because 
we were there through it with them, you know, yeah. getting them over the hump, helping them out, you know, whatever way we can. And um, I just want to say that to the parents. I want to congratulate you as well for your children. They got your flowers for that too, because yes, they did all the work, but you put in the work to make sure you, whether it was breaking generational curses because you never had anyone else graduate from college or high school in your bloodline, or whether it need be you went to college and you went to high school but didn't finish it, Whatever, whatever it is, you accomplished a lot by getting your children over that. And um, just just being a good parent is more than anything. It's beautiful and your children would appreciate you forever and ever and ever. And you're gonna be loved, especially if you gave in, gave in a lot of time right along with them. So just know that. So I want you guys to know, I give you your flowers for graduating from school. Any aspect of it does not matter what way you got it, you did it. I am proud of you. i to all my graduates. Um, if you don't, follow me on my other social medias. I'm on my business page on um, Majestic Renee. I have a scholarship giveaway that I do. Um, I have been doing since my mom passed away because if you know my mom, my mom was um she loved children she was like i said the favorite auntie favorite cousin um all the children of her friends everybody that loved loved her she was auntie nene she was nene so i have a scholarship that i do every graduation year on my mom's birthday which is may 21st called nene love the kids and i do a drawing um, I'm personally investing in my own personal funds from this to the scholarship. So I wish I can do as many children as I can. Um, sometimes the first time I did, I was able to do like five, four or five children. And I gave each child um, an amount. Um, I don't really like to tell the amount uh, because... I like to surprise them because once once they get it, because a lot of kids are like when they when they do the drawing and they, they don't even know what's going on and they get the money and they cash out or whatever they're like, hey, you know. So I like to surprise them <laughs> with the amount. So, um, like I said, if you get a chance, you can go to my Majestic Renee um, Facebook, or you can just send it to my email, your child's name, your, any or anyone that it does not necessarily have to be your child, friend, child, graduated from school, elementary school middle school, high school, college graduates, they all get an uh, opportunity to um, be drawn be in this drawing to receive the money um, for their accomplishment. So, um, yeah, you guys, I don't even know why I have not been talking about that on here. I think I'm just so used to it being just on Facebook that I don't even think about the aspect of it. People on YouTube may look at it, too. So just make sure you got, you can send it to my natural netty way, Gmail. Um, all the stuff, link in my bio. You can find all that stuff. Um, the description will be at the bottom of this, bottom of this video. And just put your kids in there, you guys. And I promise you, I'm not just, you know, just doing this to just to say I'm doing something. I literally give the children a name, my pool. I, the first time I did, I was pregnant with Golden. And I was, I let the girls pull, pull the names and we were on live. And um, I didn't do it like that. Now, last year, last few years, I didn't do it like that. This time, I just show you guys the names and I post the person picture and I post, you know, their accomplishment. And, you know, and I just, you know, give thanks to them for, for getting their diploma, getting their degree graduating from elementary school you did a good job too little boo boo um graduating going on to middle from middle school to high school yeah i give them all an uh, accomplishment a uh, chance to to give them a chance to see that they appreciate it um yeah but I, I do wish um, my goal is to make this a profit a non-profit thing but for right now i am doing it myself um my friends Try to tell me as ways I can get more people involved in it and do like it as a nonprofit, but I have to learn more about it. 
um, so I can do more children and more money. But for right now, this is what I'm doing, and I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing, and then I enjoy because they they'll start following my page, and I watch their page a little bit, see them growing. The um, one of the high school girls that that I that was a pull um, last year, she's doing hair. She's in college. She's she's doing hair as well. I love that because I'm a big person on. You get your degree. That's great. That's a, that's a, that's a wonderful accomplishment. Your diploma as well. But if you have a trade, that is even more because at the same time, yes, you'll be able to be a doctor or whatever, nurse or whatever your 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 career choices are. But you have a trade to fall back on if something happens to make money. You know. So she's do, she's doing here. And then um, one of my, one of the middle school schoolers' names that I pulled last year, she um, is currently a cheerleader, um, and she's getting ready to go into high school, and she's doing good in school. She's making good grades. My mom, my mom said she's doing really good in school. This is just you know just looking at what they post about them, and the first winners of my first time I did it, I told you I had a lot of money put up. Like, I literally had put a lot of thought into it where I put my bonus up on my first. I had a bigger bonus than I had from previous, and I literally put my bonus up for them, and I had gave out money to different children, and each one of them are doing good. Graduated from, at that time, they graduated from high school, and so some of them are not you know in college and I don't I don't think everybody has to go to college but some of them are working and doing good and doing things you know to make their their lives better you know keeping keeping a positive note and um yeah so I like doing that not you know not only just the aspect of just giving them some money I like just seeing seeing that they I want, I want, you know, just to hear that. Yeah, but I like to win something. I do giveaways every now and then on my site, I mean, on my, my own business site. I'm going to do another giveaway probably after this giveaway for my moms. Then they love the kids scholarship. I'm probably going to do a giveaway to, I, well, I do have a giveaway. It's still pending, though, because I'm waiting for enough subscribers. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. Once I get to a thousand subscribers on YouTube, this giveaway will be a giveaway for um, whoever is subscribed to me. I will go out the, the name on the list, write it down, and draw it, and give whoever that is the payout. Um, it's gonna not only just be cash; it's also gonna be um, one of my products. It's gonna be a, a kit, one of my product kits. So. So you guys, let's get me there. Let's get me to 1,000. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Yeah, get me to 1,000. So we can get that giveaway going. So that'll be the next giveaway. I don't know what's going on. Do I be too close to my house? Or where is this beeping? I'll be about to back up. Drives me crazy. Okay, you guys, we will see you later. I'm missing you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, y'all, what's up? I am off work. Just left from out of the store. So, I am heading home gonna make like I told you guys earlier chicken fingers and fries I think I'm gonna make them like some cheesy fries um I don't know though I'm not gonna even tell y'all a lie I don't know might just break <laughs> might just fry the most french fries some chicken fingers and um go from there honey because today drain me and I'm gonna go in after I get done cooking. I'm gonna eat because I'm kind of hungry. So I didn't eat anything for breakfast today. 
um, and go take me a long shower. I was gonna say a long bath, but I don't even feel like blowing up a bath that's gonna blow up a long shower. Get in the bed. That is the plan for me. Get in the bed. But um, how y'all doing? I hope y'all doing good. I hope y'all doing well. I hope all is well. Um, got more good good news as well today from D'Angelo. Like I said, he just cutting up today. Um, he had to take his driver's license test today. And he passed and he was worried. I told him, look, you can't worry now. You can't worry. You got to speak it into existence. You already have your license. You understand? You don't have to worry yourself about something that's already yours. You know? So, he he passed his driver's license. He has his driver's license. He, he's, D'Angelo is on his mission. When I say he's on his mission, and I'm so proud of my little brother. You guys have to understand, that you understand the the success story behind what he's been through success story about what he said he was gonna do and brought into the existence i am so proud of him i am so over i got teary eyed earlier today he got all these things done right around the month of my mom's birthday so it's just like i know she's on the other side like smiling hard happy i know his dad is looking at him proudly so it's just a great feeling for me and a great feeling for himself, I know. And like I told him, like, it's it's coming. It's everything is falling into place. It's no worries. It's only up from here. Don't worry about nothing else. You know, if what is for you is for you. It's gonna come into the existence. Can't nobody stop what God has for you. And that's on that, you know? Um, but yes, y'all, I'm so happy. I am so happy. Right. You guys, in your own journal, record what you feel time. about this sacred about card of your woman hey, is. Like if you work right to hurry up and get it over, and cheese, were you able to just take your time? Okay, you guys, I'm back. So I'm also going to be doing boiled chicken. Oh. Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I'm doing boiled chicken. So these are some of the things I put inside of my boiled chicken. I'm going to show y'all the seasonings. And I'm going to go and put them in there. I do black, pepper yellow seasoning, garlic powder, let it boil with this. Soul food season salt. Okay, you guys, I this salt looks like our seasoning all up. Now Send I'm gonna put love two to your bowl, of these even cubes if you don't in there believe it in the beginning. to make the broth and water Remember, and let it boil. Maybe you just let it is a boil. Just put a little water in there and let it boil. And I'll come back to that. Okay, y'all, this 22. is a little jambalaya. Hot flashes. Okay, this is how it looks. I wake them up every morning and say, here's your drink, here's your herbs. This is how my sauce is going to be. And you have to do it. Oh, you have to do it. Add the water in there now. It's a time when the sun's rays begin. 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 The and then I'm going to add the yellow rice. Okay, you guys, I add the yellow rice. And so now I'm going to add a little bit more black pepper. A little bit more pepper. And cook them and put the top on both of them. This is how the jambalaya is looking right now. Stir that up. Stir that up. Stir that up. My first time doing jambalaya, guys. Please. I didn't and add any of these pots are going. I just want to time chime in. Also, you okay. guys know I know I didn't do any green vegetables other than the bell pepper and the chicken for flavor. But um, when I'm cooking for picky kids, I try my best to just cook something that I know they're gonna eat. Let me tell you so, I know Serenity loves yellow rice. I know this she's the first time trying jambalaya. Um, but it's hidden things and like veggies inside of here, like celery is inside of the um, 
Just a veggie, the, the chicken. At that time, and just I gotta do her mac and cheese. But yeah, yeah, I gotta, I gotta understand. I try my best to do veggies, but they give me a hard time. <laughs> they give me a hard time these veggies, you guys. So I'm coming up with more ideas. I've been on Pinterest just being a. This is something I know my family likes to eat, and I like to eat myself. Kind of like a comfort food food today. So, yeah, let me let this get finished cooking. And I'll be back. The lie is good. Hello, y'all. I gotta add some stuff in here. Let <laughs> me add some more. All right, y'all. I had lied. I like it's not too much Cajun up in here. So I had to put a little strength in there. So my husband, he he already um put his to the side. But this is how the jambalaya look. So he don't get old to it. What he do? Why you spying on? All right, you guys. I am going back. This is this the chicken. Anyway. Alexa, dismiss. Alexa, Alexa, dismiss. What's up, what's up, what's up? Happy Friday. So what's up, y'all? I'm heading to go get some Randy. I needed to run into Dollar General really quickly. Grab some a bag and some more like candy and stuff for her teacher for a teacher appreciation day um week. I am running behind with that because I was supposed to give her something Monday. Because I usually like to go ahead and get <clears throat> that out the way when it comes to gifting people that I feel is doing a damn good job when it comes to our children. Um, she's been having Serenity since Serenity was three years old. Serenity is now five. Um, and she's about to go into big kid school. And she's been doing a great job with her to me. Um, so of course I want to give her, I give her every year. So I didn't forget to get her something this. Not forget, but just give her something a little late. But um, I'll be back and I'll chat up with you guys okay, while I'm back. So let's pack this bag up with me. Let's get the bag all packed up for. Yeah, I know I make my own candles, but I'm currently out. Uh, I only have Serenity candles, and I already gave her one of these before. These smell pretty good, so I got her one of the Dollar General Berry Smoothie candles. Um, I also have one of my rose quartz bracelets. Also gave her one of my Indiana Gate bracelets. Serenity says she likes chocolate, so I got her some chocolate double peanuts. Chocolate double purples. Some caramel. Um, I'm gonna stuff this bag up really quick and get to the spoon to give it to her. I am running a little bit behind doing this, y'all. I already told y'all that. So. It's okay to do something for the people that is helping when it comes to um, doing things for your children, raising, helping with helping with the, in, the input of the raising of your children. They don't have to. If you have a little something to offer, that'll be great. Um, just put a little thought process into a, a gift for a teacher showing that you love and appreciate her. Um, especially around this time, she's a mother as well, Mother Day. Um, so that's gonna be a good gift for her to just have, just to open up and see. Notice that her one of her kids, her children that she's have majority of all the day mother and parent parents basically um recognized her and, and showed the show their appreciation um so trendy has she did cake pops i didn't we didn't do any recording i'm trying to get better when it comes to this to this content creating you guys because my goal is to be making a living off of this and like i always tell y'all but i didn't even think 
Trina, record yourself while you make the cake pops. But she made cake pops for her teachers. She did chocolate in, um, well, they were chocolate covered cake pops and vanilla covered cake pops with the graffiti um, inside the ins graffiti cake in the inside. So, you know, she's a teenager, so she's not, she wasn't gonna really do a lot of recording herself giving them out to the teachers or nothing like that, so. Um, but yeah, I'm headed to go give Serenity teacher hugs. I picked Serenity up. I'm gonna let Serenity give it to her and go from there. And yeah. And um, I was. All right, y'all, we're back. This is what Rowan gave me for Mother's Day. <laughs> I did not get any footage of us giving her teacher the um gift, but she loves it and she's so proud of Rin Rin. That's what she just told me. So that's good news. Let's see me because this camera be looking a little blurry. But um, so we heading back on home, and we will talk to you guys later. Peace. What's up? What's up? What's up? Today is Saturday. Hey y'all. Mother's Day weekend. Kiddo's in the car. Trent is over there getting ready. I know how she always get in the car late. She's gonna get ready in the car <laughs> because she be about to get lit. But so we're heading to my little cousin's birthday party. I'm going to go get my other cousin because he's riding with us. And um, yeah, he is. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful start of their Mother's Day weekend. If you wanted to get away for the weekend for Mother's Day, you went out of town and you love the kids with sitters, I understand. If you wanted to spend time with your kids this weekend and you guys are gonna um, eat good, have good festival time, I understand that too. If you um, don't really want to celebrate Mother's Day, not really in the mood for it, I understand that too. But um, yeah, and she's trying to ask that I wanted, I must want to do that. Of course, what mom wouldn't want to go out of town well, just to have a, you know, one day, one just day, to have a vacation to herself? What day you have one of those? <laughs> but um, I love to spend time with y'all too. So, but um, the plan is tomorrow. Um, my in-laws they're doing a Mother's Day celebration, so I'll be going over there. Um, I think it's gonna be outside like a cookout vibe. My side of the family isn't, isn't doing anything because my aunt has to work. And, um, you know, we celebrated my grandmother's birthday. So that was kind of like Mother's Day celebration together because her birthday is right at the same time. So, of course, I want to give my grandmother some flowers or whatever. Um, and go over to my in law's house to celebrate Mother's Day with them and myself, celebrate for myself. And um, we'll see you guys at Chuck E. Cheese. Peace. Where kids can be a kid. Hey, birthday girl. Hey, hi. Girl. Look at her. I knew she was gonna pick a SpongeBob, man. She loves SpongeBob. Go to look at it. Gotta put it in the hot hippo now. So she got distracted by, by what y'all was playing. She out. You're not gonna do it again with her? She can just put the balls in there already. In there. She's supposed to stand on these sorts of machines, but hey. <laughs> hey to you. This is better. Woo! Big girl, four years old.
Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give can't be replaced show you some of my gifts that I got for Mother's Day. Um, this is from my aunt. She knows I does my content creating, so she saw that I wanted these for when I cook. My auntie just went to the shop, but she has a lot of things that she gives me throughout the year, and I love her, and I'm so grateful for her for that. But I just wanted to share with you guys what she got for me for Mother's Day, so I'll be back with the next one. Okay, guys, I'm back. This is something that she got me. This is my first time opening this is a box. So she got me a box full of stuff. She didn't really dress it up in it, so she just put a lot of stuff in that she gave me. This is a dress. You guys know I like cute, comfortable dress. Um, this tribal earrings. Cute. I already had saw these. Uh -oh. um, I wore mine already for Mother's Day, but these are matching earrings she got me in Trinity. Some more earrings. Some more earrings. I love big earrings. Um, these are just like the blue ones. She got them in lavender. These are some earrings for Trinity. These are some earrings for me. Earrings. Look at these. They are so cute. I love them. Um, some more tribal earrings. Um, got me some orange bracelet. This is the other earring that I was just showing you guys. It was in the package. These are some more cute earrings. I think I'm going to jazz these up with a cute dress on. Some more earrings. Like these, these, are the, these are similar to the black ones. But she got them in a wood color. You guys, I love these type of earrings. These are in orange. shimmery earring that she got me as well. Now, these are the ones that really just I cannot wait to rock. These are so dope to me. And look at these, y'all. These are so dope to me. Love those too. And then she got me some more crochet ones. Dope. To me. So I cannot wait to wear these. So I gotta put an outfit together, uh, a fumble. 
create a look for all of those different looks. But I want to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like what you're looking at, thumbs up and subscribe. Peace, love, and life.